And uh, Brian asks, can the dashboard that the client sees be limited to a very small subset to simplify it for them? Well, there's a couple of ways to approach that, Brian. Actually, why do I hear a... Uh, do I, I hear a, oh, there we go. Okay, that funny echo is gone now. So now I can bring Brian back into it. Oh, that's why I could have, well, you know, you learn something new every day. I, hopefully everybody wasn't distracted by that echo between when I was talking and when Jason's computer was returning the audio. But I didn't, I missed where I could mute that. But now I've got it. Okay, anyway, Brian. You have a couple of choices with this. One of them is to give your clients a couple of different accounts. You know, you can give them an administrator account and tell them that's the scary one. That gives that's the one that gives them full and complete access to everything. And then you can give them an author account. And the author account can be the one where they make new posts or pages or add categories. And that, that does actually remove all of the administrative menus. And you can test what that looks like if you create an author user and then log in as an author user. You know, these are standard users in WordPress. And uh, we'll just open up somebody here for a second. And we look at their... You know, there's the standard users are subscriber, administrator, editor, author, and contributor. If you make them um, uh, an author or an editor, maybe an editor is the right one to use. If you make them an editor, they don't have all the administrative privileges, but they can still add and edit posts and pages and categories and tags and that sort of thing without seeing all the rest of it. So that's sort of the easy way to accomplish what you're asking. You just give them both, but you tell them, you know, do most of your work generally in the editor role, and then you won't get confused by all this. The, the more draconian solution to that is to remove administrative menus in your custom functions PHP file. And you can, in fact programmatically remove these administrative functions, these administrative menus here, for example. You can remove any one of these things from this menu system by using a, with just a command in your custom functions PHP file. The problem with that is that the only way for them to get back to that is to either switch themes because your custom functions PHP obviously only functions inside a thesis. So they have to switch themes in order to get back to real control, or they have to change your programming. And, I mean, I think it's probably kinder to them to, you know, just tell them, well, you can do anything you want with your site, including kill it, with that administrator tag or that administrator login. But if you want the nice, safe login that gives you access to all the stuff that you ordinarily want to do, then use your editor login. And by using your editor login, you can't inadvertently screw anything up. That's probably how I would approach it. You know, that's how Linux approaches or Unix approaches security, right? You have one user that has absolute godlike control over the, the server. And then you have other users that have different controls. And the person who has the user, or the root user status, will still generally not sign in as the root user. They still generally will sign in as a regular user because they don't really need that absolute control.